our feelings about basketball is that you can't just be skilled and you can't just be athletic to be effective as a basketball player. So we designed the program to be able to train our players in all aspects, whether it be footwork, ball handling, skills as far as shooting. What's that? Ten? Ten! Just terminology, knowledge of the floor. We, we incorporate that in with their speed, agility, and basketball-specific strength work, as well as injury prevention. All those things are, are vital to players being successful. You got it, you got it. I've been very impressed. I don't feel any different than working out with uh, assistant coach or my head coach. And some of the drills and some of the things that they've done, I've never seen them done before, but you know that it works. And you want to kind of like, you know, do a cheat sheet, write it down, and kind of you know, give it to your coach and stuff because these are the things that, you know, you really need to comprehend into a game time situation. Pound, 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 good. Since I had a chance to hook up with Brandon and Accelerate Basketball, it's been great. We've done a lot of different things, stuff that, you know, this is my ninth year in the NBA and I've never done in my life. Matt starting the corner. Derek will start right here. Derek. Brandon's really got a high IQ for trying to train the mind to be a little bit quicker and get you thinking. And so when you get in the court, it translates and it makes you faster on the court. We're working on different skills with ball handling and shooting. And drills that, you know, I've seen a lot of drills, but haven't seen some of the stuff that they've done. So I've really enjoyed it and uh, it's really kept me motivated every day to come here to work. Brandon and Blake really just keep us motivated and push us to get better. They just really work on thinking about a lot of different things while you're on the floor. You, you know, we break down ball handling, dribble tennis balls and weighted balls so, you know, that we can work on dribbling but not really think about where the ball's in our hands. We're in here coming up with different ways to make our players better. Uh, I think one thing Brandon and I do, you know, well is we kind of get bored with our own drills that we've made up and so we start getting a little bit more creative. We used to always say in our first year, we need something new. We need something new. One of the things that you have to do with players is you, you can't let them get bored. Well, if you continually do the same types of drills that they're used to doing in their practice or they, they've been doing in skill development in the past, you don't keep their attention. Brandon and Blake, they think about the game all the time. And so when we come in here, they always have some new good drills for us. In basketball, there's so many things that you can do you know, when you come in here but they try to make it specific for what we do on the court. And uh, that's very important because you don't want to come in here and waste your time, you know, doing things that you're not going to really do out there in the game. So they get us in here and they, you know, we got a big group of guys where so they try to, you know, make it as, as fast paced and, um, you know, high repetition as possible. And they do a good job at that. They're very unique. Um, everything, even our weightlifting is it's all basketball oriented, you know. Everything is dual, we try to do two or three things at one time to get our mind focusing because it translates to the game. Because when you're tired, you, you just kind of shut down. But if you can think of many different things, it trains you to be ready for the game. All right, same thing, going back. A big portion of, of what we do with players is to keep them in a game state of mind. And, and what I mean by that is, is during a game, you know, they have to know time and score. They have to be able to execute the play that's called. They have to be able to make adjustments. They have to do something with the basketball when they get it. So. We try to keep our players in a game state of mind by constantly changing up the workouts, giving them more than one task to complete at one time. And what that does, it keeps them mentally engaged. All right, now cross over after each pass. Even when they're tired and, and when they're going at full speed through our workouts, they're mentally engaged because they know they have to listen for the next adjustment or the next assignment they have in a drill. One dribble back to the elbow, okay? I would definitely recommend the program Accelerate just because you know, they really push you to new levels. They're really innovative with the design of workouts and philosophies, and it's really basketball-specific strength programs, and uh, they really take the time to break down the, the drills and really work on the nuances of the game that you might overlook if you're working out by yourself.